习近平
So over here, um, the telescope is made by many small mirrors. And this mirror will move due to the temperature, and it will affect the resolution of the telescope. So we need to correct the movement by the little m. But how can we detect the movement? So we use the little panel X sensor to detect the movement. So these two dots is a pair of mirror panel X sensors in a telescope between two small mirror. We need three pair of mirror panel X sensors is to make sure the correct position of three dimensions. So my hypothesis is we want to test the mirror panel X sensors to have the accuracy that is capable to detect uh, the movement of 20 micron is one pixel. So here's the material. We have a laser here, pinhole here, and pinhole here, yeah. Although the user is here in camera. And we need a motion control to control the movement of uh, the camera. So how it work is laser. Uh, there's laser and it will go through the pinhole and uh, have at least 150 microns diameter and project on the mobile diffuser. And the camera will take the, uh, will take the image on the mobile diffuser and send it later in the computer and the computer will calculate the location of this little part. And a motion controller will move the camera after taking pictures. So the methodology is first take 300 photos of the point and send to the computer. Computer will turn this color picture into grayscale and calculate the centroid of each photo. And there's 300 photos and there's 300 centroids and average, average the location of every centroid and get a location the real location. So you may ask, why we need a pinhole? Why we need a pinhole? It is because when you take a picture without pinhole, it is like this. it's not a real circle, and the computer is hard to um, detect the central of this circle. Also, this is a black grayscale, and we, we, we may see this red area is really saturate and we computer cannot get any detail of this uh, area and it may it will totally uh, damage the result so see this program this stuff is pixels the number of pixels so many pixels are here <coughs> at the most right hand side these pixels are saturated and we cannot no, we cannot get any information from here. So this is the picture taken with pinhole. It is circle, it is grayscale, and no area is saturated. See here, no pixel is saturated. So calculate the centroid. So we have 300 pic pictures, and here is 300 centroid. And when we turn, we can get a histogram. And we see there's many heroes here, and it is not a currency enough to have to centralize this. So why we cannot get a perfect uh, perfect centroid? It is because there are background noises. The point over here, we see it is black. Actually, it is not black enough. So you can see the color is red eight, green green eight, and blue eight. Turning to grass with gray scale is eight. So we need a pure black, which means gray scale is zero. So what should we do? We can amplify the program. Like this. There's a little box over here. Get rid of the background. Get rid of it. And we can we will only calculate the pixel inside the box. So this is this box is not uh, draw to scale, so and these are for us is uh, undergraduate season 
uh, in the last lab and amplify the program. And uh, calculate the pixel inside the box. And the box is based on the approximate centroid. And it is significantly more than that compromise. So here is the result early area of the background. The central is really sharp. They are all uh, concentrated in, the center, in, the, in this area. And we can calculate very well and we can get a central. If the mean, so the measurement I did is inside the box. This is uh, the CCD of the camera. Here is one mm, and all the measurement I did is inside this box. This is 50 micron. The uh, measurement I did two adjacent points and the distance of 20 micron. So there is a tiny movement of each uh, point. Of the, so here is the data. X, X axis, the position of uh, the point I took in my micron and the corresponding y x is the corresponding pixel. So one point two point in uh, x x we take nine point here, nine point here. So the ratio between uh, the micron and pixel is minimum twenty. And this this is awesome. And in the in the uh, x x we also take nine point and the micron to the pixel is 23. It's not a not, not bad either. So here's the conclusion. All the points are near or on the last bit high, and the ratio between the movement and the pixels is really 20 micron per pixel, which which so the resolution is high at the center. Because I take the I take the measure at the center of the CCD. So the visual is past the resolution of more point and past the the solution with pinhole has different size. So we have to And thank you to Dr. Brian Kamensky over here, Professor Rasmi Rukuchi here, and Daniel Nieto, no picture, Dennis uh, here. And uh, Dennis and Daniel are uh, graduate students, it's a postdoc, and they help me a lot. And Alex Wells is here, and he's in the lab and